When I hire a driver, I look at their DAC report, their MBR, their employment history, a few other reports. Um, by looking at those, I cannot tell if a driver is going to do this. I don't care how clean their record is. If you are disrespectful on the phone while we are working together, I'm not going to bring you on. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Driver is just throwing trash out the window, making everybody else look bad. In this clip right here, in multiple clips <laughs> right here, we have a Hirschbach driver just being lazy and just throwing trash out the window at a truck stop before he pulls off. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. Damn, Hirschbach. It's pretty sad you end up with a fucking driver like this. It's too fucking lazy to get out of the truck and go to a trash can. He threw all that trash out his window and decided to fucking leave when I wanted to go over there and say something to him because that's pretty fucked up. He made it, makes it all look bad for us. Good morning and happy Monday. I woke up this morning with a lot of notifications um, of a video that was posted of a driver throwing trash out of his truck at a truck stop. I want it to be known that Hirschbach does not condone this behavior whatsoever. Um, we have the video. Um, it is in the hands of people with a lot more authority than me that can actually do something about it. Um, and they are handling the situation. Um, I also want to say I can feel the passion in the comments of how outraged everyone is about this happening. And I am outraged as well. I want to say thank you for tagging us um, and bringing this situation to light so we know it's happening. Um, I also want to address the fact that while drivers are in orientation, we reinforce the fact that we want drivers that work for us that are respectable humans, um, that are going to respect, uh, be respectful at customers, um, truck stops, and to other drivers and humans, anybody that they come across on the road. When I hire a driver, I look at their DAC report, their MVR, their employment history, a few other reports. Um, by looking at those, I cannot tell if a driver is going to do this. I don't care how clean their record is. If you are disrespectful on the phone while we are working together, I'm not going to bring you on. I just want to stop it right here for a second because, you know, I'm in the midst of editing this video. But she mentioned the fact that when a driver calls her doing the you know the call-in phase of the recruiter call she says that doesn't matter how clean your DAC report is or how good your background is if you speaking with to me with such disrespect we're not going to work with each other well you know what <laughs> i'm glad you said that recruiter because there's a lot of recruiters out there that gives us a lot of disrespect too. So is it fair? Is it safe to say that if you guys give us disrespect, we don't want to work with y'all? Is that okay too? I mean, if you guys come with us being so rude over the phone and being disrespectful over the phone, it's okay for us not to work with you guys either. Let's get back. I will always show drivers um, respect and um, honesty and positivity when bringing them on. And I hope that they will repay that while representing Hirschbach on the road. Um, but I can't guarantee that. 2,482 trucks on the road. We cannot promise that every driver we have is always going to be respectful in every situation. We can promise to do something about it when brought to our attention. In order to address a situation like this, we need a truck number. Um, we need a location, a date, and time. Um, if you are truly as outraged as you are portraying, do not jump on TikTok. Call Hirschbach directly. If you can find TikTok on your phone, you can find Google and call Hirschbach. Right. If you can find TikTok on your phone, bruh, you can find Google and call Hirschbach snitch line. That's what you could have did. 
just like she said, if you were so outraged and so concerned and everything like that, why you just didn't call the snitch line and just tell them directly? Now, you know, I, I want to say that, yes, uh, that driver, you know, is the reason why we get treated the way we get treated at these truck stops. The reason why we got to pay for parking. The reason why we can't uh, park at Walmart. The reason why, you know, the, 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 the people just look at us as they do because of drivers like that. But it's not just drivers at Hirsch Bach. There's all you drivers, whatever company you work for. It doesn't matter if you work for Hirsch Bach, Swift, uh, Rail, Snyder, mom and pops, whatever. All you drivers is just plain nasty, period. There's been plenty of times I went up to the, the truck stops and been in the fuel island and I seen piss bottles everywhere, shit buckets everywhere, bowls everywhere, you know, trash overflowing all over the fuel island and the trash cans are empty. I've seen that. And it's not just a Hirschbach driver, but it's, it's all drivers. And y'all wonder why people talk about this. Y'all wonder why we get treated the way we get treated. We go up into Walmart and we can't park there. We go up into, into pilots and we have to pay for parking. We go up into, into Petro's and we gotta wonder why we gotta pay $40 for a shower. Because those companies, those truck stops, Walmarts, they got to pay the people to come out there to clean that stuff up. That's why. That's why. And every time you wonder about why you got to do something at a truck stop and you feel that a truck stop should be more accommodating to us, that's why. That's why. They got to they got to pay their employees to come out there and clean the stuff up. Like their employees really want to do that for free. Hey, bruh, you know, there's some, some human waste outside. We need you to go out there and clean it up. You're going to have to pay that bruh to go out there and clean it up, man. The same people that be complaining about that are the same people that be doing this stuff right here. Right here. Throwing trash out the window, not giving the care. Pissing everywhere. Going by, going, you know, shitting up under their up under their trailers or whatever, whatever. Now I can understand if you have some type of emergency. I get it. But this like at the dog park when your dog take a take a you know take a dump, you have to clean it up. That's what you do. Why don't you just clean up your mess and put it in the garbage can, which is all lined along the back of the trailers? But some of you is just plain lazy. I get it. Y'all lazy. But let's talk about you, camera culture. Let's talk about you, brother, man. They like to talk all big and stuff like that. Well, I was going to go over there and say something. I was going to go over there and help. I was going to go over there and do something. Why didn't you? Why didn't you? Maybe you was afraid to go over there and say something or or just scared yourself that you was gonna go over there and say something. Or, or just like everybody else in this social media world, you just want to get the video and put it out there for the world to comment, view, and to get likes. That's what you do. I understand. I I understand wholeheartedly why you doing what you do. 
Now, who's to say that if it was anybody else, you know, somebody would have went over there. Maybe, maybe if it was the 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 truck stop employees and they would have saw that. Of course, if they would have saw it, for sure they would have went over there and said something to that driver. Yeah, I I I can understand fully that you might have been, you know, kind of scared to go over there and confront him. You know, you could have been like, yo, bro, you're making this look bad for everybody, man. Come on. Let's start. Let's start today, bro, by showing the world what we is all about. And we're not all about these trash ass truckers that everybody is talking about. Let's start today. Damn, Hirschbaugh. It's pretty sad you end up with a fucking driver like this that's too fucking lazy to get out of the truck and go to a trash can. He threw all that trash out his window and decided to fucking leave when I wanted to go over there and say something to him because that's pretty fucked up. He made it, makes it all look bad for us. First things first, baby. That there's no excuse for laziness. There are trash cans everywhere at truck stops that you can easily have access to. He could have waited and put it in a trash like whenever he was gonna get fuel. The trash cans everywhere, truck stops behind the trailer, all of that stuff, they have them lined up everywhere. People still litter and put garbage everywhere and there's never any excuse for laziness. In other regards, addressing another issue, I just wanna say that in the video you said he left before you could say something to him. All I got to say is, bro, you sat there and you recorded him and he wasn't moving anywhere. He, he was there the whole time you were there. You could have said something like, hey man, why are you littering? It makes the rest of us look bad, which it does. It makes all truck drivers, everybody has one generic opinion of truck drivers in our society and that is terrible. And I think that dude definitely contributed to it. But also there is a lot of brave people behind cameras these days. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of brave people. I just don't think you had the courage to go out and say something to them and be like, hey man, why are you doing this? To have a civil conversation about it. Instead, you'd rather just pull out your camera and record. Which is whatever, I don't care. I record a lot of stuff too, no problem. But you didn't do anything about it. Except call the company and call his company out. Which is whatever. I mean, it's fine, he got talked to. But Skinny Stick 85 or whatever your name is, <laughs> don't try to be a badass, bro. I saw your videos, man. Dude, you are not a badass. Well, beard out. So drivers, man, what do you what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I'm, I'm sure you guys have a lot of thoughts. I'm sure you guys came across a lot of drivers like that Hirschbot drivers, you know, that throw trash out the window, that piss around his truck and and just do all sorts of unsavory type stuff, man. It's not cool. It really isn't. And unfortunately, it makes us truck drivers look bad in a continuing world of 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 us being so disrespected out here drivers again let me know your thoughts in the comments below you gotta get busy though man <laughs> can we get busy man please without you fucking up <laughs> for real <laughs> now turn yeah. that shit up turn that up when I met you, I well, admit my first thought was a oh, trick You look so good, huh? I, I suck, suck on, on your daddy's dick. dick Never felt that way in what? my life uh -huh. It didn't take long before I've been taking no more, man Nigga fucking up every joint